Stingless bees are sometimes called stingless honeybees, or simply melipponemes. These are a large group of bees, consisting of about 500 species, comprising the tribe Melipponini. They are also closely related to common honeybees, carpenter bees, orchid bees and bumblebees. Stingless bees can be found in the most tropical or subtropical regions of the world, such as Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia and Tropical America. The majority of native eusocial bees of Central and South America are stingless bees, although only a few of them produce honey in amounts which might make humans interested to farm them for commercial purposes. Stingless bees are also quite diverse in Africa, including Madagascar, and are also farmed there. Meliponine honey is prized as a medicine in many African communities, as well as in South America. Being tropical, Stingless bees are active all year round, with exception of the cooler seasons where they are comparatively less active, but active nonetheless. Unlike other type of bees, they do not sting, but will defend by biting if their nest is disturbed. Stingless bees usually nest in hollow trunks, tree branches, underground cavities, or rock crevices. However, they also have been spotted in wall cavities, old rubbish bins, water meters and storage drums. Stingless bees' nests are also different from that of honeybees. While honeybees build their nests primary from bee wax, stingless bees mix their wax with plant resins to form propolis, their main building material. As stingless bees are harmless to humans, they have become an increasingly attractive addition to the suburban backyard. Most Meliponini beekeepers keep the bees not just for honey, but also for the pleasure of conserving a native species whose original habitat is declining due to human development. In return, the bees pollinate crops, garden flowers and bushland during their search for nectar and pollen. Stingless bees store their aromatic honey in clusters of small propolis pots near the extremities of the nest. Propolis is a resin-like material from the buds of poplar and cone-bearing trees and is rarely available in its pure form. It is usually obtained from beehives and contains bee products. Propolis harvested from beehives has been used by man as a natural medicine since the earliest times, even before man learned to write. Propolis has a long history of medicinal use, dating back to 350 BC, the time of Aristotle. Greeks also used propolis for abscesses. Assyrians used it for healing wounds and tumours, and Egyptians used it for mummification. Advances in modern science have now identified the many botanically derived compounds within propolis, including flavonoids, phenolic acids and their derivatives, which are medicinally beneficial to man due to their proven antibacterial properties. Bees collect pure propolis resin from plant surfaces knowing about its anti-infective and antifungal properties to help preserve the health of a hive. Apart from the signature tangy taste of the honey, the honey produced by the stingless bees also contains non-peroxide antimicrobial activity similar to the Mancuna honey. The honey also contains 17 different amino acids, is high in bioflavonoids and vitamins A, B, C, D and E. Unlike a hive of commercial honeybees, which can produce about 10 kilograms of honey per month, a hive of stingless bees produces less than 1 kilogram a month. Stingless bee honey has a distinctive bush taste, a mix of sweet and sour flavours with a hint of fruit. The taste comes from propolis, which the bees use to build their hives and honey pots, and varies at different times of year, depending on the flowers and trees they visit. Inspired by Melipony culture in Brazil and the distinctly tangy and nutritious honey produced by the stingless bee, Little Green Bee has sought to find alternatives to such a rare product closer to Asia. The search led to the tropical rainforests of Malaysia, where a similar species of stingless bee, Trigona itama, reside harvesting tree sap to make premium quality propolis and honey from indigenous trees such as the Maranti, Karuin and Marawan. Fondly referred to as Mother Medicine by the local farmers, 
The honey harvested from the Trigona atama species of the stingless bees contain non-peroxide antimicrobial activity, similar to the manuka honey. The normal water content of normal honeybees is usually less than 20%. The low water content is to prevent the fermentation process, which would otherwise spoil the honey. However, stingless bee honey does not ferment even with a water content of 25%. This is because the honey is stored in pots of propolis, which has antimicrobial properties that infuses into the honey. It is precisely the high antimicrobial properties of the stingless bee honey that stops the honey from spoiling by fermentation. This is in contrast with normal honeybees, which only use bee wax to build the cells that store honey. Hence the honey from normal honeybees does not come into contact with propolis and therefore does not contain the many benefits of propolis. In addition, each batch of Trigona Itama honey harvested by Little Green Bee is tested and certified to their Propolis Plus Factor PPF, an indication of the quality and quantity of propolis found naturally within the honey. The PPF is a result of our proprietary harvesting process that collects propolis together with the honey. The Trigona Itama honey harvested is categorised into two levels. Trigona Itama honey PPF plus 5 and Trigona Itama honey PPF plus 15. The two levels represent not only the non-peroxide activity NPA level of the honey with PPF plus 5 equivalent to NPA plus 5 and PPF plus 15 equivalent to NPA plus 15 but also representing that the higher grade plus 15 contains higher quality and quantity of propolis naturally occurring in the honey. Key benefits of regularly consuming Little Green Bee's Trigona Itama honey include improved immune system, increased virality, anti-aging and improved respiratory health. These are the benefits of nature, brought from nature to you.